Dave, thanks for coming to meet with me. Um, help yourself to the Louise slice, obviously, at any time. First things first, what is your issue? Um, that quit line won't help me stop vaping. Right, so so you're a vapor. Mm -hmm. When did you start vaping? When I was at a party and I just saw that everyone was vaping and then I tried it and then I just got addicted. Did you have a hoon on someone else's vape? Multiple people's vapes. You were just vaping up a storm? Yeah, so and I know you're going to say, do you think it was cool? And the answer was, yes, I thought vaping was cool. I don't know that you need to guess what I'm going to ask you. OK, sorry. This is, do you still think it's cool? Not now. Okay. Apparently you've got a new person that you've made in your house, is that correct? Yep, little baby, Holly. How old Holly? Three weeks old. Okay, so do you want her to become a vapor? No. Okay, do you think that she wants you to be a vapor? No. I'm presuming she can't talk yet, no. she's three weeks old. She doesn't do much. Well, I'm sure she does. She, does. she grows and, and learns, so yeah. you've got a big role to play as a parent. When you have tried to give up, mm. how did that go? Tell me about it. Um, I called Quitline once before, and they were saying, um, oh yeah, we can give you some lozenges and some gum mm. and some patches, and you decide what you want. And I was like, yep, that's cool. So I tried that, mm -hmm. and I did that for maybe, I think I did about 60 days off the vape. And I was like, that's awesome. What did and you do with the lozenge, the patch, or the gum? I did the gum and the patch. Mm. But the patches make you have weird sex dreams. Sorry? They have weird sex dreams, like really graphic. Like, like what? Like really graphic. Things, things I've never done before. There's another phone number you can call for this. <laughs> You've reached out to Quitline. What did they say? Well, Quitline said to me that they don't give out nicotine patches or gum anymore. They stopped doing that a couple of months ago. To anyone? Well, they do it for smoking, yep. cigarettes, but not for vaping. So if you're a vapor who's never been a smoker... That's it, you're on your own. The only help that you can get yep. is try doing breathing exercises. Did you think about taking up smoking and then saying, I am a smoker now and I'm also a vapor, and then you could have got the nicotine patches? Yeah, I was thinking of putting a durry in my mouth and sending them a photo back. Yeah. But I didn't because I'm, I just don't want to... They're yep. good people, but... They are good people. They just don't help vaping people and only vaping people, you know? Yeah. Do you want some cake? Yeah. Okay. I'll get you some. Here you go. Oh, oh, you could hold the fork. Wow. That's impressive. Would you like some? Love a, a, a tiny bit. Yes, just a corner. I'm not your child. Okay. Back to... <laughs> This is ridiculous. <laughs> All Dave needs is his gum and patches, minus the weird dreams. But quit lines change their tune. I can see this is an issue, and if it's an issue for you, it's an issue for me. So leave it with me. I'm on the case. Thanks, Karen. Thank you so much. You can take that. So I'm back in my hotel now to do some research, and I happen to have a pirated copy of Patty Gower on vaping. The documentary was incredible. And I definitely watched the entire thing. Manufacturers of propylene glycol and chemical safety agencies recommend that you avoid inhaling it. Yet propylene glycol makes up around half of the vape liquid. You're going to vape that, Patty? And after my extensive research, it was time to go to Quitline and demand answers. Before we get started, I just wondered if you wanted to, I hope you don't mind, but... Spaceman. Yeah, I mean, I prefer they call them space person, but... You notice they don't have their little red ends anymore. Why do you think that is? Well, they made it look too much like a cigarette. Mm. How would you describe the co-papa of, of quit line? Um, supporting people on their quit journey. To quit? Quit smoking. Specifically smoking? Yes. Did you used to be a smoker? I did. Was that before or after you joined quit line? Uh, before, well before. So Dave, I've actually had my own kind of initiative. I just wanted to run it past you. Please do. I wanted to start up my own line, which is called a Just Don't Start line. Okay. So yeah. what do you think? I mean, maybe we could have a bit of a go at that and see if you think it's, you know. Hello, this is Don't Even Start line. Karen speaking. Oh, hello, Karen. Um, don't even start. Just don't even, don't do it. It's okay. not worth it. Thanks for your call. Thank you. Okay. Did you find that helpful or a little bit aggressive? Both. Because actually my best friend, Dave. Good name. Good yeah, well, you're, I was going to say, you're also my, well, you're like the second best Dave friend I've got. Yeah. Um, now, he is a vapour. Yes. And he wanted support to stop that. He's just had a new baby. Yes. He rang up Quitline and he found that they couldn't really offer him any help or support. Mm. Why? 
Okay, it depends what sort of support you're talking about. At the moment, we're at a stage where unfortunately we can't offer nicotine products, like um, patches. patches gum lozenge. Yeah. Why we can't do that? Um, yeah, that's a bit above my pay grade, but um, rather than talking about what we can't do... So, I went above his pay grade, and Quitline told me nicotine replacement therapy is designed to help people quit smoking tobacco. It hasn't been assessed by MedSafe for people who want help to quit vaping. What about if you just lied to say you did used to be a smoker, mm -hmm. then would you be able to access those products? Well, then you would have to keep up that lie, which can be hard work. I used to smoke a, um, 17 a day. Could be stressful, which yeah. would lead you into vaping yeah. or starting to smoke for real. I just need the, the patches, the gum. But there's so much more to the quitting journey than the, the, the nicotine. That, that's one, one part of it. So what we can do to support mm. is a strong focus on the behaviour. Changing routines. Changing routines, changing habits. Yeah. Because you can do a great job to quit smoking, vaping, but unless you're changing those habits, those habits are going to remain. Even if they're back. sort of lying under the surface there. Okay, well, routinely, I would um, end this interview by saying thank you very much for your time, but I'm going to change that by just leaving. Okay. We know National want to cut our tax, but how are they going to cut our vaping? I'm cutting it on this big bus event to find out. Christopher, how are you going to cut the vaping? Bus Chris wasn't giving me anything, so I had to find human Chris. You see, I've got a brand new bus. I did think what, that what might you, be your bus. You... Have you ever had a hoon on a vape? No, never will, never have. And one Chris wasn't enough. I'm getting the combo. Have you ever vaped? No, I haven't. Would you consider taking up vaping if it meant you got more votes? No. But if you had to choose a flavour, just had to, it's like Arctic mint, menthol ice, grape, then you've got more just like your tobacco flavour. Which flavour would you choose? Well, I'm not going to do it because I just don't think it's good but for us. I just us said you had think. to. No, I know. I know you said that, but I'm just not going to do it. I don't think there is a sausage roll one, but... Well, in the absence of a sausage roll one, I just don't think it'd be worth it. So you'd like us to look to introduce a sausage... I don't think that is what you mean, is it? No, it's not. Did you know that if you just a vapor, you've never been a smoker, Quitline can't actually help you stop to vape? I wasn't aware of that, no. What it do you should think be, of it? Should, should be able to do that, and you know, we want to increase spending on health each and every year. That does seem like an anomaly in the system, and it is something I think we need to fix, because we want people to be able to give up vaping as Couldn't well. Couldn't we just transfer the people that we're helping, the smokers, to help the vape lords? You know, we should be doing everything we can now. There's some new stronger measures coming in. Mm -hmm. Let's see how they go. And if they don't work, then we need to move it back to prescription only. Let's have that conversation too. And absolutely, we want to stop young people taking up vaping. You're right, and I think, you know, minimising the flavours, the access to those flavours, and maybe potentially your idea about a sausage roll flavour could actually be quite a good innovation because if that was the only flavour available, I don't know if people would think that was that cool. I think it was your idea of a sausage roll flavour, actually. OK, well, my last question that I have for you, and it's a great idea of mine then, um, I know you want to remove the GST from fruit and vegetables. In fact, I feel like I was actually the first person that actually got that scoop. Yes, you Just... were, actually. Would you consider removing the GST on potatoes so chips would be more affordable? More affordable chips would be a very good thing. I'm never going to do these humorous interviews It wasn't on purpose, but would you consider removing the GST from beer? I'm just asking for a friend. Absolutely not. Thanks, Chris. It's been lovely. <laughs>